Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the clipping mask in Adobe Photoshop Elements to apply, a, let's say, a background or another picture on top of uh, an existing picture. So um, let me just explain or show you rather than trying to explain what I'm trying to do here. So I have this dog picture here, and let's say rather than have it black, I want to have this flower pattern applied to it. So rather than trying to draw my own flower pattern or do some fancy cropping, that kind of thing, I'll just use a clipping mask instead. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get rid of the white background here. And to do that, you could use the magic eraser. It's the one with the star there. Make sure it's not just the plain one there. And then anywhere that you click, select the layer first, anywhere you click, that's white, it will erase that section there. So if we were to click the black, it would erase just that part. So we want to click that. And it works really well on solid pictures like this. If you have like some shading or different colors or something, you might find that you click there and it bleeds off into one of the other colors if it's like a lighter color. And you could usually adjust the tolerance to kind of fine tune how strong it is, I guess you could say. But I usually find if it's in the 30s, it works pretty well for most things. Okay, so now you can see this background is transparent because of the, the gray and white checkerboard there. So now we just need to select this image. So, you know, you could do like the magic wand and have it select, you know, just around the image. But since the background is transparent, we don't need to worry about that. We're just going to draw a box around it. And then we just need to copy it. And then we're going to paste it on top of our flowers here. Okay, so now we want to create the clipping mask so that way the flowers are applied to the uh, dog and not to the background. So the first thing you want to do is get your background uh, as the first layer. So we're going to drag this dog down here. So now the background layer is on top there. It's layer one. And you can see it's covering the dog. Then you want to select that background layer. And then go to the layer menu and create clipping mask. And now you can see that the background is now gone except for where it is on the dog. And if we were to move the dog, you can see the uh, background moves with it. So what you want to do is make sure you have your um, image in place on the background, you know, because it's going to apply that pattern exactly where you placed it on there. So if you have it in this corner, it's going to apply whatever flowers are there. If you put it in there, it's going to apply whatever flowers are there and so on. Okay, so now we have our dog with the uh, um, flowers. So if we want to make it stand out a little bit. We could, you know, apply like a, a stroke to it, like an outline. But to do that, we're going to need to... Uh, Merge Visible. If we do Flatten Image, it's going to put the white background back. So if we do Merge Visible, now we have a kind of one image here. So we just right-click on it, Edit Layer Style, click on Stroke, and then we could do, you know, as, as big as you want. You could change the color if you want to position it, you know, inside, center, outside. I usually like to use outside. So let's say 5 and OK. So now we have our little black outline around the dog as well. So pretty simple. So once again, just take your, let me, let me just go back to the way things were here. Take your first image here, make sure you have transparent background, or if you really want to do a select, you know, select all the uh, actual image itself, you could do that. Copy it. Paste it. And get it on top there. Let me get rid of this one. And then you would just want to make sure that your background is the first layer on top there. So it's covering your picture layer. Oh, see, you got to click. If you don't click on the top one, you'll notice that's going to be grayed out. So make sure you click on the top one, create clipping mask, and then you're good to go. All right, hopefully that makes sense and hopefully it works for you. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank mm -hmm. you.